Despite being born and raised in a Maine town, Angela had never been in the woods before. And now, at the whim of her husband, Simon, the woman was in the middle of a dense thicket of fir, spruce, and pine. Angela had no idea how to behave in the forest. Therefore, she was afraid of every rustle or crack of a dry branch under her feet, as if mocking the intruder. The squirrels jumped through the trees like red lightning in order to get wolves and foxes off their trail. But there could have been much bigger animals here. And what should I do then? Angela thought anxiously and looked around instinctively. Simon lured her into the woods under the guise of taking a walk together. And then he deliberately left her alone in the wilderness. Such cruelty made Angela's eyes fill with tears, and her heart ached treacherously. But then an hour had passed, and another one, but her husband was still nowhere to be seen. God, is this really Simon's gratitude for all the years I took care of him? Angela whispered, having difficulty trudging through the dense thicket. The young people had lived together for five years, all of which were very peaceful and happy. This was mainly because Angela was a very calm person who always preferred to cut sharp corners and smooth out any conflicts. When she met Simon, she was already a self-sufficient woman with a solid bank account and her own real estate company. It was not an inheritance from wealthy parents, but rather the result of her hard work. Everything Angela had, she achieved on her own. She was one of the first agents in her city to start selling real estate on the internet. She was an intermediary who connected the seller and the buyer, getting commission from successful transactions. Over time, Angela managed to open her own real estate agency, which made her even more successful. The handsome womanizer, Simon, quickly realized what benefits a marriage with such a wealthy woman would bring. Therefore, Simon wooed her like a tick doing everything in his power to charm the young woman from the first days of their acquaintance. Even though the man had no money, Angela treated him with care and understanding. The young woman happily agreed to have Simon move in with her, letting him give up his room at a cheap motel. After the young people got married, Angela resigned herself to the fact that the newly made husband never got a job and spent most of his time sitting in front of the TV with a can of beer and a bag of chips in his hands. And now, as a reward for her love and acceptance, Angela found herself alone in the middle of a dense forest, hostile to uninvited guests. Moreover, Simon left his wife at the most difficult moment in her life, when she was sick and needed his help and support the most. The unfortunate woman couldn't comprehend how her husband could be so cruel when she discovered she was seriously ill three months ago. She was feeling sicker by the day, so she decided to get a checkup to see what was wrong. It was then that it turned out that the woman had cancer. Lowering her eyes, the oncologist told the bewildered Angela that she only had about a year left to live. However, the doctor added, this isn't a death sentence, Ms. Taylor. There's treatment, and if you start it right away, there's a good chance you could beat this thing. Thanks to the advances in modern medicine, we've managed to increase the recovery rate several times. The treatment is expensive, but I think that no amount of money could be more important than health. No, you're right. I have to fight for my life and get treatment no matter what it costs me, Angela answered, who was glad to get her hopes back up. A minute ago, she felt broken, and now she saw the light at the end of the tunnel. When the woman left the hospital and told Simon about the treatment option, her husband did not seem supportive. All these doctors are just scammers. They just want to get money out of you. But it'll end the same way in a graveyard. The man grunted angrily, clenching his fists. But that's my life we're talking about. It's not like I don't have the money. There should be enough money in my bank account. And if it isn't enough, then we can sell the agency. Angela objected. Simon only pursed his lips in response. He clearly had a different take on the matter. And then, the man came up with a cunning plan regarding Angela's future and her money. After that memorable conversation at the hospital entrance, Simon suddenly became very placent and agreed with his wife about everything. Well, the woman couldn't be happier about such changes in her husband's attitude. Therefore, 
When Simon offered to take Angela on a walk in the fresh air, she did not get suspicious. Simon deliberately took the woman to the very depths of the forest and literally pushed her out of the Mercedes. What are you doing, honey? Angela exclaimed, trying to hold on to the car door. But Simon didn't give up and hit the gas, rushing towards the city. Exhausted by her illness and stress, the woman wandered through the woods, having no idea where she was going. Angela didn't know how much time had passed since her husband got rid of her in such a cruel way. The woman was tormented by hunger and thirst, which only aggravated her already tricky situation. It would probably be easier if wild animals tore me to pieces, Angela thought, and started to sob loudly without hiding, sitting under a tree. Angela didn't even realize when she dozed off, and only came to her senses when she heard the moan of a bear. The woman opened her eyes, and a big bear dragged her. She was paralyzed, but the huge animal took her next to a hunter's tent and left her there. A little further away, there was a huge dog curiously looking at the owner's strange discovery. The man had a long beard and a gun hanging off his shoulder. He's probably a hunter, but what does he want from me? Why can't he just keep on walking, thought Angela, who had already resigned to her fate and was preparing to die. To her great surprise, the man with the bear didn't seem to be planning on leaving any time soon. Instead, the hunter began quickly collecting dry brushwood, apparently intending to build a fire. When the man succeeded, he took out a pot from his hiking backpack, and having filled it with water from a bottle, put it on the fire. The hunter added mushrooms to it, and poured in a can of beans with meat. The intoxicating smell of food immediately filled the air around them, causing Angela's stomach to growl from hunger. The stranger smiled understandingly, and stirred the contents of the pot with a spoon. Soon, Angela was already devouring the hot delicacy offered to her by the friendly hunter. Having satisfied her hunger, the woman felt tired, which caused her eyes to close on their own. Through her dream, Angela felt the man pick her up and carry her somewhere. The unfortunate woman tried to resist, but then she lost consciousness. Angela woke up the following day, having slept for over 12 hours. Looking around with surprise, the woman saw that she was in a small, clean room that smelled of pine needles and some herbs. Angela tried to get out of bed, but her weakness prevented her from doing so. At that moment, the door opened, and a frail old woman entered the room. Are you finally awake, honey? That's good news. Now let me give you this healing concoction. You'll feel better right away. My name is Dahlia, said the stranger, and handed Angela the mug with a tart, fragrant liquid. The woman smiled shyly and accepted the healing drink from the hands of the old woman. Dahlia turned out to be a sweet woman who treated patients with the help of alternative medicine with some animals like dogs and her pet bear named Baby, who saved Angela's life. Having exhausted all the options that traditional medicine had to offer, Dahlia lived alone, and helping people suffering from various ailments became the meaning of her life. In a house in the middle of the forest, the woman helped everyone who turned to her. What's the name of the man who saved me in the forest? Angela asked while taking a walk through the forest with the old woman. Oh, that was Liam. He's a nice man, a widower. He lost his wife and daughter in a car accident. Angela lived in the house of Dahlia for about three months, during which she developed a strong bond with the old woman. Meanwhile, with Liam, she didn't even realize what was happening, but at one point, they just knew that they wanted to be together. So, they started dating and spending most of their time together. However, the most surprising part was that after the old woman's treatment, Angela felt as if there was no illness at all. Actually, Angela had made up her mind a long time ago, she didn't want to leave the old woman's forest house or break off the relationship with Liam. Her husband, it turned out, the cunning womanizer, brought it on himself. He hired an actor that looked like Angela to help him withdraw money from Angela's bank account. The bank security team did a great job, and soon that terrified Simon was already testifying at a police station. 
crying. He claimed that he was guilty of nothing and just wanted to withdraw his wife's money from her account as she wouldn't need it anymore. Simon also couldn't hide the fact that he got rid of his wife by leaving her to die in the deep forest. Unfortunately, the law enforcement officers failed to find Angela in the woods, so they considered her dead. So the woman's return to the city caused a real sensation. But it was the doctors at the hospital who were surprised. They ran some tests on Angela and concluded that she was completely healthy. Angela smiled mysteriously, thanking the first healer, Dahlia, and her brave animal that dragged her to Liam's tent who took her to Dahlia's house. After getting a divorce from Simon, who was convicted of attempted murder, Angela sold her house in the city and moved in with Dahlia, together with Liam.